Today we're doing um, the Peach Palette by Revolution. And then I, I did try my nails for the MC box. I don't think I did that good of a job. It's kind of a different formula with nail polish that I'm used to. So my last episode was Ipsy. I'm wearing the nail polish I got from there. If that makes any sense. So you can watch that video if you want to. I'll put it in the description box. Um, it's like, what's going on with your face, Manda? I'm using Baking um, Setting Powder by Morphe. And I am wearing the new Tinted Moisturizer by Wet n Wild. I really, this really has been my favorite to film with. It's light coverage. Um, but it's really medium coverage. And they need more of a shade range because of that. Because it is so, um, good. It, they need more of a shade range, but I do love it. But anyway, um, let's get into the palette. So, without ruining my nails. Okay. It's my first time using this palette. Um, we have here, um... One, two, three, four, five. Five shimmers and three mattes. So, I think whatever I create is kind of going to look very similar. Unless you put it with different shimmers. I think I got some of that setting powder in my nose. But anyway, um, so I'm going to swatch the shimmers for you. They don't have names. They're very nice, very creamy. It's a very cheap palette. It's only nine dollars. Yeah, it's very nice. Let me bring drag that down a little bit. It's a little chunky. And <laughs> try this pink one. It's kind of chunky a little bit. Let's do this other pink one. Yeah, they're kind of chunky. So, pretty cool. Clean this off. Okay. Okay, so let's get started. I go in with this brush. I'm usually in the grabbing chain towards my Morphe brush, but. I, it sucks they don't have a like a white color here to highbrow your underbrow highlight it um, and to lighten the shades if you need to. That kind of sucks. They could have put out one shimmer and put that in, but they didn't. So okay, so I want to be very careful not going too dark. Well, it's definitely pigment payoff. So. Yeah, definitely immediate pigment payoff. Um, so this is a pretty good palette for all skin types. But I do think they need a white for the under neck. Eye, brow, bone. And also to lighten the shades if you need to. Because I'm very pale. <laughs> so. This is very effort free for me. Um. So. Like. I just immediately got it. Okay I'm going to try this shade. Try to blend a little bit. Stand here to get some definition. That's a big word for you, Amanda. <laughs> okay, it's pretty. 
Okay, try the other shade. I do think this is way too pigmented for my skin type. But it's not bad. But I wish they had a white. And I keep saying that, but it's true. I wish they did have a white. Because I would mix those. Okay, you're looking wonky. Okay. But it's immediate pigment, pigment payoff like immediately. These small brands are really coming for the like the really high end brands. They're not very high end to me. <laughs> like, okay, I'm gonna take this. I need a smaller one. Put my shimmer on. Okay. Um. Okay, I'm just gonna take this. Put that shimmer on. Huh. Should try my finger. Yes, yeah, much better. I'm gonna go higher with that a little bit. Okay. Definitely need a white shade. Uh, you can. See, there's a white shade in this. This is one next I'm going to go into. Um, probably not. No, no white shade. They do have a lighter green, though, in this one. Huh. In this one, so that's cool. Um, no white shade in here. I know people want immediate pigment payoff, but they should have everyone in mind. Um, when they do an eyeshadow, like everyone, no wet shade. This is my Galaxy palette. I haven't reviewed yet either. Um, no wet shade in this one. Kind of a tannish one though. This one's very nice. To me, I think they should create three palettes, light, medium, and deep, if anyone puts out a palette, even though it is eyeshadow. Okay, this is kind of, they're trying to do a Huda Beauty palette here. I got this from Target. Okay, we do have a white-ish shade here. Okay. So, let's go right here. Okay, very nice. I don't want to create a different look, but it's going to be the same look with a different shimmer. But just go with it. I, know I said I wasn't going to do that, but I kind of want to now. Okay. 
So, um, I'm going to take this smaller brush like this one. Um, go to a brown, brown one. You know I used it already. I think I want this one lower, if I can manage to do that, without going too high. Okay. Okay. And I want some definition in it, so I'm going to do a different color too. So I'm going to round that out a little bit. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go with this kind of peachy brown shade. Get two peachy brown shades. But okay. There's definitely no fuss no muss. It's actually too pigmented. But it work for anyone. Okay. That corner good. Okay, very pretty. I do want it to show that I have makeup on. Like ColourPop, a lot of their palettes are supposed to be colorful. They're not deep enough for me because they blend into my skin tone. <laughs> it's too faint. This is too dark. But I think with enough pilots, I can get it to work. Um, these minis are really good, though. Um, I think I'll have better luck with a full-size pilot. Because there is lighter shades like this one that can mix in to the, light, the darker ones. There's a lighter green here shade. So... So if you go like too faint, like color pop, you can't see if you're wearing anything. They do have some deep colors, true, but they like to put one deep in a lot of color pop. Doesn't do it for me. Just we just say that it doesn't do it for me. I don't understand the whole thing with color pop, but anyway, it just doesn't do it for me. This one's kind of sticky, like shade. It's kind of odd a little bit. Okay. I'm going to take a brush and yeah. pick up a little bit more pigment. This one's a little weird. Oh, shit. Yeah, keep in your arm in there. This one's a weird shade. Weird shimmer. But it's okay. But these are really fantastic for the price. I just wish they had a lighter shade. Can't stop saying that. We'd get it. <laughs> we get it. Stop saying it. Okay. If it had lighter shade, they wouldn't be much of a problem for my skin tone. Because I can get it to fit mine. So, with some sanazzle. Dazzle. Okay, what the hell did I do with it? And this is without any primer, by the way. Zero primer. So, these are very good. I forgot to put my primer on. So, zero primer. I'm not sure we're going to stay like this for a long time. It, it's not, probably. But maybe it will. I don't know. Um, shit. Okay. The, the Hidu Boo one. <laughs> okay. This one is too faint. 
I'm not sure this will work for everyone. This palette. But I'll get in that to another time. But these are terrific. It, definitely if you're deep tone. They would definitely be bomb. So that was incredibly easy. Had to be careful because they're so pigmented, this one. So if you want to pick out a, a really pigmented palette that blends great, pick this one up. It's Makeup Revolution. I got this at Ulta. Okay. Just go underneath my eyes with the shade, probably the same shade. Okay. And go into this one. And not, hopefully, not do too crazy with it. Um, I can't use this one. This is too thick. I need a very light. Damn it. Where is it? Oh, he's here. My other one. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not from any brand. It's just, I got it from a dollar store. Okay. This is a very nice formula. I'm not going to say it again. It needs a white. I'm not going to say it. But it's very nice. Very luxurious with no luxurious price. So that's cool. Wow. Very cool, very easy. I did this video in 18 minutes. So, very nice. Oh. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed my video.